I've just come back from the high street and picked up a few charity shop bits, uh, which I'll show you. It might just sit on the floor on my daughter's play mat. I thought it might be easier to show this way. So yeah, let's see what I picked up. Okay. I first picked up these little like Mary Jane shoes. Um, from my previous videos, you'll see that I bought a pink pair from Next. £7.50, brand new. Um, but these were only a pound and they're size 7, so they'll fit her like in the winter time. And she's a size 5 at the moment. So these are gold. I thought I'd put these away for her. Just for occasion shoes, so I don't have to buy them full price again. The next ones were in the sale for £7.50. Um, and that's sort of the same price on Vinted as well, second hand. So yeah, these don't even look they've been worn at all. Soles are perfect. See so, yeah, if they were one pound. And then I picked up this elephant. I've never seen it before. Look how cute it is. It's got a little towel. It's only by Chad Valley. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um, really, just for me. <laughs> So this was two pound. I'll probably just leave this in my daughter's toy box. Uh, I might put it on a shelf upstairs in her room, but yeah, it just looks really nice. I'm not sure how much this is at full price, as I've never seen it before. Uh, that was one of the soft toys that I bought this week. I'm gonna leave my best soft toy to last, and then just show you these random bits that I bought. Uh, so these like metal scoops. Uh, these were a 50p each, and so were the little tongs. Uh, I just thought that maybe one day I might have, like, you know, a party or something, or people around, and they need to pick food up, and they've got little tongs to pick the food up with. Um, I don't know, something like that. And these scoops would be good. If I was to have a party and my daughter was to have sweets in, like, a jar, she can use them to scoop up the sweets, maybe. I've got two of these, that's a little bit rusty, I can clean that off. Uh, I did have about five scoops and five tongs, but I didn't want too many, as I'm not sure where to store them. Uh, but I'll put these in my bottom kitchen drawer with all my like party stuff, barbecue stuff. Things we don't use so often, they can go in there. So these are all a 50p each, which I thought was quite good. That was those. And then finally, from the same shop, picked up this knitted dinosaur, and it's quite big. Uh, so this is the company called Best Years Software. It's a knitted dinosaur. It's got its tag on still. The only reason I know about these is that I used to work in Oliver Bonus years ago, and they had like, the miniature ones in the store. And I picked up a miniature orange dinosaur for my daughter when she was born. And I paid $9.99 for that. And that's like this big. Oh, actually, it's in her toy box. I'm going to just grab it. <laughs> but yeah, here is her one. It's a bit um, bobbly now. But as you can see, the difference. That was $9.99. I want to say about six or seven years ago I bought that. I bought it before she was born, thinking, okay, with my first child, she'll lo they'll love this dinosaur. So I kept it all that time. So yeah, look at the size difference. Uh, so this is a really big one. I'm not sure how much this is because I can't really find it online. I can only find like the medium ones. I think, who else sells these? Maybe John Lewis. Um, and other like baby stores as well. So here's the tag. So yeah, this was £3, which is just crazy. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I had to get that. It was like stuffed right in the bottom of the toy box, all the softwares. So I had to like rummage through the softwares and I just saw the knitted thing. And I was like, oh my God, that's from Best Years. So yeah, that was my favourite purchase of the day. Little dinosaur, well, big dinosaur. And this is all from, what was the charity shop called? 
St. Luke's Hospice. See, that was everything that I got today. Also picked up these from my local charity shop. Had to buy all three of them because they were like bound together by like an acid band. Now these were £3.50, which isn't too bad as two of them are oh, that branded animal company, um, which I'm not going to pronounce. Um, they're like really expensive. I did actually go to my uh, local department store who actually sells these and I think just this one was 4 99 on its own which is just crazy for a plastic animal um, but they are really like durable and like really good quality uh, I've just noticed that someone's glued his ear back on never mind um so yeah I think this little one no, I think this is just an order. It could be. I'm not sure if that's the same brand. I'm not sure. But yeah, three pound fifty for these, and my daughter loves them. So I'm always looking out for these. Um. So yeah, that was from the charity shop. I just got back from the high street. I popped into a few charity shops whilst I was there. And these are the three things that I picked up for myself and my daughter. Firstly, I picked up this uh, fairy wings and a, a wand. Still in its wrapper, 50p. I thought I'd put that away for my daughter when she's a bit older. Uh, maybe when she's like two, maybe. She'll be interested in sort of like dressing up and that. I thought it was really good for 50p. And then I picked up this card holder. It looks brand new. Um, I've been using it for a few weeks now. 50 um looks brand new so there's a little mark there actually other than that it looks fine finished retail for about 13 pound anyway so it's not that expensive to start with um but i thought why not for three pound 50 and then i also picked up this teddy bear which i found in like a massive um like crate of soft toys and it just said everything's pound and I thought, you know what, I think there's going to be a jelly cat in there somewhere. And there was, and there was this one. And it's still got its tags on. There's its tag. So yeah, I was really shocked to find it, and especially as it's only a pound as well. And it's got its tags on. Um, I just don't think that charity shop, I don't think they know of like jelly cats or what brand soft toys are. They're like quite expensive because I'm always finding jelly cats in there. Um, and like little Dutch soft toys as well. So yeah, I was really pleased to find that in the uh, massive pile of soft toys. See, that that's the only three things I got today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And always let me know in the comments below what your best charity shop finds have been. It's always interesting to see what people have picked up in charity shops. Um, I do feel like they're becoming a bit more popular now, charity shops. Obviously because of like, the cost of living crisis at the moment. Um, so people, you know, don't want to pay full price and don't want to spend a lot. Because um, now my high street with the charity shops are really busy. And it's always like lots of people in there. It's really hard to like push my pram around the shop. Whereas before, I think it used to be a bit empty. Um, and I'm always hearing the sale assistants in there going, wow, we've done like, you know, the best week ever. So yeah, also they're putting their prices up. So obviously, again, making more money. Um, but yeah, I just love not paying full price and just picking up things that I actually need. Um, obviously, I didn't need this teddy bear, but my daughter can always do some more softwares. So yeah. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.